So welcome everybody out to our essential oil class tonight. Um, we're going to be talking about eucalyptus oil, which is really great because eucalyptus is one of those popular essential oils um, that most people have. So we're going to be going through all the great benefits and stuff and hopefully do a bit of a, um, you know, full on review. Um, Jade, everybody uh, on the call right now knows Jade, but I know there are some people that um, will be joining um, watching the video afterwards or listening to the podcast. So every once in a while, I'll just do a, a introduction. So Jade has been teaching people about essential oils for six years, and she's now a diamond in doTERRA and passionate about sharing essential oils all this, you know, ever since, you know, we had them in our family and, and her um, health just turned around and, and she wanted to share that with uh, many other people. So I'm, she's prepared a handout, which I'm going to put on the screen here for everybody to see. And uh, you can look at this. Uh, she's got notes and a whole blog on it at jadebalden.com slash eucalyptus. Or if you ever are looking for an oil or something she's written previously, there's a search bar. You can just search for whatever you're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and, and share this handout with you. So can everybody see that? Yep. yep. Okay, great. All right, so without further ado, I'm going to turn the time over to Jay. Thank you. Did you notice Ben's new haircut? I did. <laughs> yeah. Yay, 100 day challenge is <laughs> over. Maybe, maybe a while before you see that again. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I am so excited about eucalyptus because it reminds me of my childhood in Australia. Uh, so it has a special place in my heart. Eucalyptus is. Um, of course, from Australia. So, um, well, we only have a few people here, but I know a lot of people listen to the podcast and um, I'll watch this video later. But for the people that are here, um, has anybody not used eucalyptus before? No? That's good. So everyone's yeah, used eucalyptus. That's good. I think most people are familiar with the um, eucalyptus scent and... Um, I know in Australia they have those little lollies and stuff. Yes, the eucalyptus drops. They <laughs> just eat it because it tastes good. <laughs> they sell it in the school canteens. Um, so they like a pack of uh, 10 for $2 or something you know, when I was little. It's awesome, $1. And this eucalyptus comes from Australia, right? Uh -huh. Eucalyptus and yeah, Melaleuca. Eucalyptus and Melaleuca comes from Australia. And so does Jay yeah. come from us. Yes. <laughs> just still. I'm imported. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the Jay in a bottle. Yeah. Jay <laughs> That's a bit eerie. Yeah, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, eucalyptus is a really good oil for us because it helps us, um, like other oils, um, in an emotional and physical way. But this here, it has a lot to do with health, um, is in the physical health. So health, guys, is both a mind over matter thing and a matter over mind thing, okay? This is really, really important, especially when we're going to talk about um, eucalyptus oil. So what do I mean by that? What do, what do I mean by mind over matter and matter over mind, okay? So we're, we're here on earth to learn to be one with our body. So our body is a gift or a temple uh, for our spirit. And somehow we have to work together with our body because our body is intelligent and is created for our joy and benefit. I know I've met quite a few people who are in their minds a lot and they, um, they don't um, have a good relationship with their body. Um, there are people that have relationship with the body, but they don't have this great relationship with their mind and we want to balance both of that we want to um, help the body and the mind work together because you know in my understanding that's what's going to be um, our that's going to be our existence forevermore um, just to have this beautiful body and this mind so we better make friends with it and we better learn how to um, work together right uh, so, so if we believe that our body is defective or broken, we'll continue to find sickness and experience sickness. And if we change the way we think, we actually begin to feel better. And eucalyptus helps us do that. It helps remind us 
that we can be healthy again. Um, and sometimes people have been sick for so long that um, the thought of being well is very foreign to them. Okay, uh, so you know this, the people that uh, have been very sick, they need to not only think that they're going to be healthy, but um, they are going to do things um, just to help them increase their belief that they are healthy. So, like I said, the mind of a matter and matter of a mind. Okay, because you know, when you tra train yourself, your physical body, actually it gives your mind some confidence to believe that you can heal too. Um, and some people leave it to the point where, oh no, I have to have surgery now. I have to chop something out and I have to get reconstruction somehow. But I don't believe that that's a permanent um, solution to anything. So um, the permanent solution is to help to understand the wellness paradigm. So a healthy person, what does a healthy person do? A healthy person will eat healthy food and a healthy person will have a healthy lifestyle, will sleep well, will relax often and care about their body and, you know, in many, many different ways. And so if you list out the things that healthy people do and even though you've been sick for a long time, try to do those things, even if it's a small, um, short uh, period of time, at least you start your mind thinking and being confident and um, strengthening its belief that it can be well. So do you know people that have been sick for so long that um, they, they no longer um, have any hope that they can be well again? Yep. yep. Yeah, so think about that for a minute. But, you know, I love eucalyptus oil because it helps with the transformation. And you don't have to be alone in this. You don't have to think, uh, I am healthy, I'm healthy. Um, eucalyptus will help us. Okay, so it's very, it's beautiful. Of course, everybody knows that eucalyptus is great for clearing airways. Okay, so you can apply it on your chest, on your back, on the bottom of your feet. Or you can combine it with peppermint and lemon and it will help with um, supporting the respiratory system, especially to help with um, you know, congestion. Right, so that's pretty straightforward. So I, I, I'm, I was just trying to think of someone that I've, I've known that's been sick for, I know a lot of people that, that are sick and they just, they want to be sick. They know that they, they I don't know if they, someone who's been sick for a long time that's been trying to sick. But so what you're saying is, you know, if, if someone is used to sick and they're, they're, they're stuck on that being sick and uh -huh. they want to be sick, mm -hmm. this will help. Yep, yep, this will help them. So my sister and I, we grew up um, and we had uh, the modern diet, um, you know, as much as our parents want to feed us Vietnamese healthy foods, there's lots of things that we, we did, you know, we had junk food and fast food and things and we had allergies and we had all these things and we thought that was our norm. You know, we thought that, that everybody had headaches um, that often and we thought that everybody had some skin problems that often and, you know, we just, think, you know, you just go to the doctor, get a cream, go to the doctor, get a puffer, go to the doctor, get something. It's just the norm. And in our mind, we didn't think that we didn't have to live, we can live without it. You know, we thought, we didn't think that, hey, one day I'll grow out of all of this. In our minds, we thought that's who we are. Mm -hmm. You know, we just have to go feel the prescription, feel the prescription, keep going. Um, and then when we, you know, learned how to use essential oils and cleanse ourselves, suddenly it's like, I don't want that anymore. I, I realize I can live without that. Huh, that's different, you know. So, yeah, when you met me, right? <laughs> five puffers, tissue boxes, every time we go shopping, that's the norm. Yeah. Okay, you got to put that in the shopping cart because that's how it is. Um, you never if you think in your mind that, you know, we can be different than that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and cleansing your airway. Airway is about life. And so you feel like you, that's how you are. You've got that congestion in your life and you accept that. But with the physical body, it helps clear the congestion, but emotionally and 
mentally it ha helps clear that congestion too. Like, don't think that way. <laughs> you don't need that traffic. Why did you think that you need that there? Yeah, I know, um, like we visit people all the time and I have friends that say, hey, Jade, come and help this person. And she, you know, bring the oils over, let's share with that other person. And we come over and, you know, I can gauge whether or not in a pretty short time, whether or not that person really wants to heal. They, they will complain. They will list their health concerns. They, even, oops, they will even share that special name that, um, that of whatever disease that they have, but they will allow themselves to feel, um, uh, you know, like uh, depressed by it and, um, you know, let it, let it take over them basically. And we'll talk more about that in a minute. So we'll go through the body first, what the uh, eucalyptus oil can do for the body. So it cleanses the air too. You can diffuse the eucalyptus oil to, um, you know, help with, uh, protect yourself against a lots of environmental threats. Keep that whole the whole family safe and um, healthy. Um, you know, and especially if there's been illnesses, if people have been unwell in the home, you want to diffuse the eucalyptus oil. And you know, eucalyptus oil um, is in our on guard protective blend. Okay. That's what makes it smell so great too. So it's got those protective mm -hmm. properties. Yes, there's a lot of research about that. And you can just keep reading and reading. For me, I just picked a few and I thought, you know what, that's sufficient. There's just so much um, out there that, um, you know, everybody knows that now. Okay, great for surface cleaning. We have a lot of those um, disinfectant cleaners and things out there that are very toxic. Um, that actually will hurt us more than it can help us. So you might want to uh, switch over and change to healthy, natural, green cleaning products that you can make your, uh, for yourself. Um, so doTERRA has wonderful products that you can purchase. But, uh, you know, sometimes I want to shake it up a little bit and I put a little bit of eucalyptus oil in there, peppermint oil, lemon oil, and my kids do the same. They just play around with it. Um, because it's fun and it makes your house smell great and you feel like you've, you've cleaned. <laughs> you feel like things are fresh. That's the smell that I smell in the morning on Saturday mornings. My mum would, um, she'd buy those um, store-bought eucalyptus oils and then she'll put it in the, the moppy water and then she'll mop our tiles and I wake up in the morning for Saturday chores and that smell is all over the house and you just get so excited and get, get right into it. Uh, you know, whatever it is that your chore is. So that was me and um, my association with eucalyptus oil. Yeah, a lot of eucalyptus, like they'll sell eucalyptus oil separately for, for cleaning. Like yeah. People use it, especially in Australia, as a cleaning product. Most most of the time you see it, eucalyptus and it says poisonous. Yeah. And you read stories about, you know, um, what's the name of the animal? Not koala. Koalas. Koala, yeah. Koala bears. Yeah. They'll eat eucalyptus and they're like the only animal that does. And yeah. That's, like all they eat is yeah. eucalyptus um, and I drink water. leaves. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, when they're eating this eucalyptus leaf, it, it's poisonous to all other animals. And that's one of the reasons that, that koalas, you know, move so slowly <laughs> and it's a sloth as well, because they've got to metabolize yeah. all those poisons. In their, and in they their can body. only eat a certain uh, species of eucalyptus. Yeah. Animals. Yeah. Only a certain species. So that, you know, it's, you know, it's dangerous for the koalas if yeah. all those people just would yeah. you know, and disappear. So um, a lot of people have this idea, you know, eucalyptus uh, is poisonous. Yeah. Um, but when it's distilled properly yeah. as uh, doTERRA, and, and yeah, we're only talking about radio. doTERRA essential radio. oils here. Yeah. Um, whereas you get this this um, quality of essential oil, you can even take it internally so mm -hmm. it's safe and yeah. it doesn't it, all it has in there is the essential oil. Mm -hmm. this is the essential oil and none of the um, compounds and mm -hmm. stuff are all safe and they have all those protective um, qualities, you know, that that you get from eucalyptus. So you can mm -hmm. and Jada uh, talk about next the surface yeah. cleaner, you know, you can use it for your but, cleaning you know, in Australia they put it in those lollies, then you can just lolly so can't be that bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah. yeah, there's different, lots of different grades. Right. And and then in 
you know the the aroma the the eucalyptus mm -hmm. um there's a place in in australia called the blue mountains where they have a lot of these mm -hmm. uh, eucalyptus trees yes so much so that you know this it's in the air and the it, vapors from the trees the vapors from the trees and yeah. it, it causes this blue haze, haze. in the air mm -hmm. and so they called them the blue mountains because you can look over and it's got this blue haze yeah in, in the mountains and it, that's it's, all the eucalyptus awesome. vapors going mm -hmm. into the air so you're walking through that forest and yeah. you'll, you'll get a bit of a, mm -hmm. a boost yeah it's a bit <laughs> of a therapeutic um mm -hmm. boost to your immunity just going yeah. through the forest and, yeah and feeling all that eucalyptus paper that's right if you're yeah. ever going to be in australia you know uh, i would go through there just go, to experience it yeah, hop on a train go out to the blue mountains mm -hmm. and the three sisters and yeah that's right yeah yeah so the eucalyptus oil it's fantastic for immunity um it, you know like i said it's in the on so guard blend like uh-huh so we're just getting next okay it's in the on guard blend like everybody um heard before oops sorry turn this off and um, you, know, you can actually rub it on your feet, um, ingest it. The On Guard comes in soft gels and um, you can actually, I like using eucalyptus oil on top of that just because it helps the person feel like they can be well. Sometimes children milk you, if you know what I mean. If they're sick and you, they get lots of cuddles and kisses and attention, you don't want that to drag on too long. I mean, of course, you know, give them some loves and stuff, but um, you want them to feel like this is, you know, not going to last too long. So <laughs> move on and, and be well. Yeah. In, in addition to cleaners and everything, we'll put a few eucalyptus drops on things that you want to smell clean. <laughs> For instance, we've got a few dry, dryer balls. Yes. Um, I don't know if doTERRA still, every once in a while, they'll yeah, be able to do. buy these um, dryer balls, just woolen balls. And just put a couple drops on that and throw that in with your in your clothes dryer as your clothes are drying and yeah and it'll just give that eucalyptus scent to your clothes and oh, no, it's i don't awesome. know you, eucalyptus is one it. of those that it's a clean smell yeah i think i was used to pine salt when i was a kid <laughs> they don't have a pine essential oil yet um you know but, you can actually make it sort of eucalyptus and then you've got your um piney kind of yeah, a smell you have white fur but, you can mix it up in that but you know in the absence of that you, you have eucalyptus to put on things to make it smell mm -hmm. pretty yes and that's it's all about um, presentation right <laughs> <laughs> yeah actually we'll go and we'll get to that um yeah so the next thing here on the list you can see is a uh, head lice uh lots of studies on that also um, melaleuca and uh, eucalyptus if you want to use that together um, mix it with fractionated coconut oil and just you know just drench that scalp with the two oils and uh, your coconut oil and then just put it all up in a bun put it in a shower cap and leave it overnight um, and you know in the morning you wash your hair and you comb it out so it's been very effective. A few years ago at uh, the doTERRA convention, they, they printed a research on melaleuca and um, uh, coconut oil for lice, for head lice, and it's 100% effective without all the toxins going into your skin and hurting your family. Yeah, so the, <laughs> the last place we lived in was in a rural area yeah. where there's a lot of farm animals and everything. And so. Um, a lot of kids that were, that grew up on, you know, really <laughs> live on farms, right? Yeah. So every once in a while, you always get these notes on that they've got head lice in school uh -huh. as well. Yeah. Um, and so that's, you know, perfect treatment. And you yes. can just do this at night while they're sleeping. So yeah. it doesn't really interfere with them. We, yeah. act, we act, uh, also have a, a spray, spray spray bottle, the same blend. Um, actually, we've added um, cedar wood and arborvitae. Um, do that and maybe even tear a shield uh, so you know I don't know if you do girls hair a lot but when you spray it's it, good at braiding <laughs> it's a lot easier to handle when it's a little bit damp um, so you, you know we got that little bottle we'll spray a bunch on the hair before yeah. we comb it brush yeah. it out and then braid it yeah um, so that they've got that oil like in in their hair and, and you know because the the like the lice or whatever bugs there may be, 
we'd like to jump in the hair, but you know, if we can prevent that from the beginning, you know, uh -huh. somehow, um, you know, repel them from the beginning, that'd be great. Yeah. Um, but yeah, those are some, I don't know if you've tried to get rid of lice without <laughs> these natural solutions. Oh, there boy. is tar you can buy. It's black tar stuff <laughs> and get it at the, at the chemist, at the, at the pharmacist. Um, it says black tar stuff and you put it in their hair and you wash it. I don't know if anybody's um, tried to get rid of lice um, with, the, tough, with the chemical stuff. And you know that some of that's going to seep into your head. You've probably read about, you know, people being really damaged with hair dyes. Yeah. Because the stuff that you put in, you know, you're washing this chemical stuff in your hair, some of that's going to seep through your skin, some into your brain. Yeah. So yeah, here is an awesome solution to it, an alternative. Mm -hmm. No look essential oil. If it does get into your brain, it's just going to bless your brain. <laughs> that's right. That's with the immunity. Yeah. That's right. Yep. So that's that for head lice. So you guys have a solution now. Um, for clear skin, eucalyptus oil is one of the ingredients in our doTERRA HD Clear. Um, and that, you know, is a spot treatment. So that's Maybe we should stop. Does anybody have any questions about oh. um, lice or anything? I've muted everybody, but if you have a question or if, if you've had an experience uh, with um, lice or with you know, cleaning or anything like that that we've talked about so far. You can uh, mm -hmm. share your experience with us. So just unmute yourself. No, no, no okay. nothing to share. <laughs> That's okay. I think so. I, I was going to say, I, I'm sure my mom would wish we would, she would have had this growing up. I have, I have seven sisters, so I mean, I'll have <laughs> Um, I remember a couple of times lice going through our house and they were having to do stuff and that wasn't very fun for her, I'm sure. <laughs> Did they use that kind of tarish stuff or? I, I, I don't remember what she used, but I, you know, I remember my sister's not enjoying it at all. So Yeah. And, and it gets really itchy. Um, there's also that fine tooth comb yeah. that you get to, to get the lice things out. Um, but I yeah. remember our, our girls when they had it, you know, they, Put a little bit of this in their hair, and you can actually see them react to it. Yeah, it's that on this surface. It's really gross. <laughs> <laughs> I had it when I was little, and my hair was like down to my knees. And I remember, well, one, the chemical stuff that you put on, like it says on there, it can cause um, seizures and stuff. But I mean, we did, they didn't have any other idea of how to get rid of it. But my mom was like rushing through my hair with that little comb like so long that like I fell asleep sitting up while she was doing it. And then it was gone, but then it went through our school again. And my mom was like, oh no, not again. Because like one year it just kept on going around the school. I don't know, I was second or third grade and I had long hair. And then she was like, if we just put something in your hair so that it would not come back to you because your hair is long and touch it, people touch it and stuff. And, um, but it was just like that smell, not only did like, it says it's bad for your health, but it just burned my nostrils. Like I would take tissue and shove it up because it kind of hurt. It kind of made your eyes water. And my mom's like, this cannot be good for kids. How yeah. is this the only answer? But that was all they, I just remember that strong smell. And, um, once Jaden had it, but she didn't know what it was. And we treated her, and as we were brushing it out, my mom was like, make sure they're dead. And she's like, what? Wait, what's dead? <laughs> we told her that it was bugs, and she freaked out. And she was like, is that why it smells so bad? Because you have to kill bugs with pesticide, and they're eating my head? And she started crying. She was, like, freaking out. I mean, she was really young, but she did not, like, we kept on saying lice, lice. She did not know it was bugs, and then she was like so mad, like just so mad that they were on her head, and we had to put this pesticide on her head. And um, so, like, I read that, and I was like, oh my goodness, like we we had no look. Like that would have been so much easier just to, to do that and not have that horrible smell or a headache or you know, yeah, all that stuff. But we didn't know then. Yeah. Yeah, we right. could do a whole video on just this. Topic yeah. alone. <laughs> we have four girls with long hair like mine, so we know all about this now. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just got the HD clear stuff, like it just came yesterday, so mm -hmm. I showed it to the kids. 
It smells really good. It's, I think it's because of the eucalyptus in there. Yeah. So. My, my, yeah. Two, my, my two daughters at home, they use the HD clear all the time. They swear by it. They're, yeah. So. That's so good. Then It's better than any of the chemicals that they can buy in the store. That's good. Yep. So that is eucalyptus. It can do so much, guys. Um, and you can see on number seven there, um, dust mites. Um, like Ben said, he likes to put uh, eucalyptus oil onto everything that we have just to have it feel and smell clean. But also it does help repel dust mites and things too. Um, so that's good. So you can have uh, 15 to 20 drops of eucalyptus oil in a glass of water. Um, yeah, a glass bottle of water. So, you know, those um, blue glass bottles that you can buy, just shake it up and spray it once in a while just to protect it. Yeah, I just feel so good that we have all of these um, oils to help us, but then it's not like killing the good um, bacterial bugs and things that is, is good for us. So how cool is that? The oils are very intelligent in that way. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, so we want to move so on. Dust, dust mites can be... Um you know, people can uh, develop allergies, allergies to, to dust mites, not just the dust mites, but the, um, the fecal matter, the, <laughs> you know, the, the dust, mites. things the dust mites leave behind. <laughs> and so, you know, um, just like the, um, the uh, lice, you know, you can, a few drops of eucalyptus oil and just a, a glass, you want to use a glass uh, spray bottle. Um, yeah, if you're going to leave the oils in there for longer. Yeah, um, it's in our yeah. kitchen. So, and it, we use it for cleaning. <laughs> um, use a glass uh, spray bottle because you know you don't want those oils to maybe start breaking down the plastic or um, adhering to the plastic and stuff. So yeah, yeah. So that you would just for this you would just spray it on the pillow or on the on the bed sheets and stuff um, to keep dust mite because that's usually the place where you'd have a problem. But maybe on the couch or other place where you have dust mites. So these are just some really small mites that eat your dead skin. Yeah. Yeah. Any questions or anybody want to add anything there? Nope. Easy peasy. Okay. Okay. What about the clear skin? Does anybody have any experience of using um, the, this is a topical blend, the HD clear. Ron says your girls use girls it. His girls use it. it. Yeah. It's a really good solution. Um, you know, there's a lot of kids going through their teenage years, they have yeah. all sorts of worries and, you know, with yeah. the uh, hormones um, out of control, they get blemishes. Yes, peaches. Hi. Hi, everybody. I missed you guys. <laughs> um, I, I, my son, he has a friend. She's a young, she's a young adult. And she asked me today, she uh, texted me about something for her skin because she gets a lot of acne mm. and stuff breakout. So HD clear would be a good recommendation for her. Yep. Okay. All right. right. Do I know? Yeah. And if you have the emotion book, share mm -hmm. with her what the HD clear is about. Okay. I will do. Yeah. Thank you. It's about um, being happy with yourself. Yeah. Okay. That's really good. Okay. Yeah, she's like, she needs something to help her with her, her skin and stuff because she gets outbreaks. Uh, I said, I will look over some stuff and go over it with her tomorrow. <laughs> now, now, there is a, on doTERRA's website, there is an HD Clear um, product line. So we're just looking at the, the essential oil blend here. But there's actually mm -hmm. a, a whole product um yeah. There's a cleanser. Um, there's, there's, the, there's the essential My oil blend. My girls like the lotion. Mm -hmm. And then there's the um, the thing. Let me see if I can that screen, honey. share this with you. Okay. So here we go. So you have the HD Claret. Now this is just the essential oil blend. I like the and we're, nice. we're talking about it tonight because eucalyptus is part of that blend. Mm -hmm. You've also got the foaming face wash. Um, so the foaming thing works kind of like the um, foaming mm -hmm. hand wash thing. Um, but mm -hmm. you use that like maybe once once or twice a day in the morning just to wash your skin so it doesn't um, dry it out. There aren't mm -hmm. chemicals or anything. Because acne, you know, for the teenagers is about um, bacteria and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not I about using a lot of soap to dry it out. Yes, Ron? Yeah, no, I was just uh, the, the the face washes. My my daughters use that 
all the time. Um, my one daughter, Cammie, she was in uh, in, a, in a high school play, and and she every night after she came home from the play, she would wash her face with that just to get all the makeup and everything out of, out of there. Because mm. yeah, I, I, I use it for that too, Ron. The makeup remover. It's really good for that. Wow. Yeah, I get, I'll tell you, I get the makeup off my hair and turn this makeup. <laughs> that, it, yeah, that's a fantastic thing. Um, the other thing is, you know, your your body's producing a lot of oils itself, and mm -hmm. that can come up, with, or, you know, or start to pick up dirt in your environment. So mm -hmm. after the wash and everything, they have, um, this is a uh, lotion that you would put on as well. So you'd use them all three and, you know, together you know, as part of your regimen, if you wanted to, it doesn't say treats acne, this, this, this is for acne things, but mm -hmm. that's um, basically if you have skin blemishes and stuff, that's, a, that's what that, would, that's what you would use it for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll just pull up the oil here. Mm -hmm. um, yes, it promotes clear com complexion, helps reduce breakouts. So I guess that's that kind of a reference to acne. Um, mm -hmm. skin, uh, keep quick, skin clear and hydrated. I can't read tonight, mm -hmm. um, but definitely that, that's what she would try. And one of the, um, you know, the key ingredients there is the, um, the eucalyptus in there. Mm. So, um, remember for, Thank you. Adults, for adults though, if it's adult acne, uh, consider um, hormone balancing and um, gut cleansing. Okay. You can do teenagers as well. There's a lot of xenoestrogens in our environment. You know, it's the phytoestrogen blend and the mm -hmm. calm, which, you know, they've got an essential oil blend that helps regulate hormones. And then mm -hmm. the, um, the phytoestrogen complex, it's an mm -hmm. herbal blend that will help regulate hormones. Doesn't mm -hmm. add hormones, doesn't add estrogen at all. It's just it a regulator, balance a balancer. Mm -hmm. And so, um, Teenagers get more acne usually because of a hormonal imbalance. Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. the same thing applies to like adult acne. Well, she oh, maybe a hormonal imbalance. The thing is, can't hurt to try. It's a it's a natural remedy. Um, a lot of people swear by it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's clear skin. Anybody else want to say anything on that before we move on? I think we've covered dust mite as well. Yep. Okay. Yep. So we'll talk Sorry. about it's the. Taking over. No, that's okay. Um, mm -hmm. But the improved concentration next. Um, Sorry, what were we talking about? Collectors, <laughs> <laughs> basil, and Roman chamomile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, those two drops of those two oils and one drop of peppermint. And actually, this is a smoke. <gasps> You can have half a cup of Epsom salt dissolved in a warm bath and then soak for 15, 20 minutes. It just kind of helps clear out the gunk inside of you, inside um, your cells, and helps you be able to think clearly. So your cells are able to communicate lots of electrical pulses and um, communications between your cells with no traffic to um, disrupt the communication. So what are you, you filling a bath of warm water, uh -huh. you're putting your essential oils into yep. the bath? Yep. You with the salt and, and yep. soaking? Roman chamomile, and then one drop of peppermint. Um, the Epsom salt helps. And candles around the edges. <laughs> yeah, and music and a novel, I guess. Music and a novel. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it works. That's how it works. Lock the door, don't let the kids in. So, um, it, the Epsom salt help you, your body soak the oils in, so it doesn't get uh, you know stuck on the side of the bath. It comes into you. So mm. The idea behind Epsom salt. Really healthy for your bathtub. Uh huh. It's great. For <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's great for muscles too, but it just helps, uh, water helps you absorb the oils much better. So it drives it in deeper. Mm. Okay. okay. So um, for the mind, if we go to the mind, we'll put a 10 there next to the spoon like that and then we'll change some of the things. Um, so if we have... Um, this one? Yeah, that one. So the eucalyptus will help with a mental sluggishness. 
Um, so, you know, it, it links back to the physical side of things when, um, when you can't breathe, that's just a lot of sluggish things inside, um, mm -hmm. congestion. Um, and the mind is the same way too. Anything physical is also always a, like a, a clue or manifestation of the um, mental and then emotional spiritual state. So uh, eucalyptus and rosemary um, are very similar in this way and it helps with the mind. So you just can mix the two oils together and inhale. I think rosemary smells like eucalyptus anyways. <laughs> they just, they, they both do fantastic work. Rosemary helps with a lot of the brains and the transitions in the head. So it's just and awesome. Rosemary is good for hair too. And yeah. If you have any. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely hair. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but the thing is, it helps clear your mind about mm -hmm. illnesses. Um, so when you have illnesses, sometimes you feel stuck and powerless. Um, and so remember the, the two paradigm one is that your body is broken, that it spontaneously breaks down for no reason at all. And, um, you know, they're just victims of um, a broken body. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's sad because then you feel like you can't do anything about it. It's just the luck of the draw. Um, and that, you know, the people that do um, buy into that paradigm, they will list their health problems and the official names for it and they will express despair and defeat. So I know that Peaches, you're a nurse. You see that all the time. They come to you with a lovely list of health problems and it's like, yeah. hey, lots of attention. Thank you for giving me attention, Peaches. Or this nurse. <laughs> and, um, you know, they expect more problems, more drama. And mm -hmm. thinking, can you just get over it? <laughs> can you just yeah. Already, <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just I hear I'm talking, and I just say in within myself, like, oh my gosh, oh, God. I mean, they make it so horrible. <laughs> I'm always this, I'm always sick, I'm always that. It's like even the way they speak about themselves, I, I just feel like, oh, my, over, overwhelmed just hearing it sometimes, yeah, like, yeah, because they buy, really into that to... despair, buy into that defeat, and yeah, that's what they know. That's what they know and it's part of their identity um, mm -hmm. and it's been so long and I get it I understand that you know if, if you've all, always had this problem you know that's part of you but there's, a, there's come there comes to a point where if you're sick and tired of being sick and mm -hmm. other people are well you know what you can be the same you can be well too um, you know, like my parents are not on any medications. I'm not on any medications anymore. And I know friends that are my age that are on medications that have had surgery and all sorts of health problems. They're not the, the healthy weight that they are. And all of these other problems because they don't get their body can heal. So that's one paradigm that the body's sick, it's broken, and you're a victim of it. The other paradigm is that your body knows how to heal. Okay, and sicknesses is a sign of imbalance, of mm -hmm. sign of toxins, sign that you've got negative emotional energy build up. Okay, so great health can be achieved, again, when we clean our cells, we release negative stuck emotions, and we balance the direction of our life. Okay, so mm -hmm. if you've got any problems, there's something that you're not bending to, you're not flexible with, because your, your whole body, energy, spirit, kind of knows, hey, you know what? You'll be happier when you do it this way. You know, and I'm giving you a clue here. All right, mm -hmm. that's, that's it. If people can just, you know, clue into that. I mean, you know, living with your disease for so long, you know, it hasn't helped any if you continue to buy into that paradigm. So maybe you just have a switch. Which and, and and see and you never know that you you might have a new norm. Uh, so after a year of detoxing and cleansing and using essential oils, my sister she repeatedly tells me she's like, uh, "This is my new norm. This is my new me." And she says, "I just uh, I'm still very she's very tickled and excited about it because she said, you know, this was normal to me, and now all this energy and mental clarity, this is the new norm." And she's just like so happy and excited to tell people about it because she's like, you, you, you know, you accept it and you settled for so mm -hmm. long. And now it's like, hey, we don't need to settle anymore. That's, that's you know, in the past. So on this mm -hmm. journey, smelling eucalyptus oil 
Okay, here's our eucalyptus oil. It helps you feel like, you know, you can change. It helps you get rid of that weak feeling um, and it helps you not need that attention for being sick. Because I know that when we are sick, we can we get special attention. Mm -hmm. People yeah. get a little card that says that this is my disease. They get a little worried <laughs> something. And yeah. you go to the nurse's office, you get attention from mom and dad when you were younger. That's a lot of attention. Um, but now eucalyptus helps you release all that, the need for that attention, and, you know, gives you power again, helps you feel liberated. So you can feel that power and that courage that you could be well and um, that you don't need to dwell on being sick because, you know, whatever we dwell on, guys, mm -hmm. we create. Mm. So, you know, whatever patterns we, we create in our minds, we will create physically after a while. And mm. even that's the nature of it. Do you know hypochondriacs, right? Mm. <laughs> you know, and, oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and that's it's sort of like the eucalyptus oil is designed for them. You know, even mm. if you are sick, I love it when my when I was growing up, my dad used to say, "Oh, she's sick. Let's distract her." Mm -hmm. <laughs> so his way of distracting mm -hmm. is to make wow. them laugh, um, you know, make them forget that they're sick, and then they actually feel well and healthy. And that's true because when we're happy, we produce a lot of happy hormones, healing hormones, and chemicals inside our body that will help us heal. So you know, that that is a you know science uh, you know in and of itself. But I remembered every time my nieces or nephews or they come over, and their parents are like, "Oh yeah, she's not well. She's been not you know sick for two days." And he's like, "Well, let's do something fun. Let's distract them. You know, chase them, tickle them, whatever." And then um, you know they get well. They're happy and they're laughing. So I I want to show you this here, this picture here that I made today. Um, it's just labels. Hi Terry. <laughs> to the top of Terry's head there. Um, mm -hmm. This here, you can actually make this picture in Wordle, W-O-R-D-L-E, wordle.com. Mm -hmm. You just put whatever words in there and it just kind of puts it in a collage for you. But basically, mm -hmm. I see a lot of people that own their disease. So they say, my, you, uh, my Alzheimer's, my asthma, my carpal tunnel, my whatever, and it makes it so difficult for them to let go of that disease. Remember, disease is a name for a group of symptoms. And if we can possibly get rid of the symptoms, we get rid of the disease. Okay? So, you know, there are some that are pretty serious. I get it. I know. But, you know, if you can reduce some of the symptoms, then you actually, um, you know, reduce the disease. I have so many friends and experience now um, of people letting go of the disease and um, actually healing from it okay but they have to decide to heal um, so um, you know I have another picture here that I made you know you say instead of my Alzheimer's my uh, arthritis because that's what I used to have I used to have a, you know the doctor said I had um, you know a form of arthritis in my back and my neck and my you know, my hands and I had asthma and had allergies and all these things they said I had. Um, and because I didn't own it, I was able to let go and completely heal from it. So you yeah. can to say I'm healing from a diagnosis of whatever it is that the label is, not my asthma, my cancer, my whatever, okay? Because, again, they're just labels. And if you identify with it, it's part of your energy, it's part of who you are, it's going to be very difficult for you to let it go. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Yeah. So just imagine yourself being well and imagine what it looks like to be well. Because mm -hmm. right? you know, we're limited by our imagination. So if we can just let that go and change the way we speak, it's going to be fantastic. Um, you know, just listen to your friends, listen to the way you say what you say about your health and then actually um, get feedback from it, okay? Tell your friends, if you say anything like this, remind you to change the way you think, 
Alrighty. So um, the last thing, yes. Yeah. Any any questions, comments, things that you want to share about this? All right. All right. Is the eucalyptus in um, the deep blue? I don't think so. I just was wondering because. Uh, um, actually, you're, you, you, I think you got, you're onto something. So if people are using deep blue for pain and things, give them eucalyptus too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it does help with um, sores and muscle uh, aches and things too. There's just so much that you can do. I just picked some of my favorites that I use it for, but there, there's so many other things that it does. I mean, I feel like um, there's a there's one of those um, bush people, <laughs> the bush rangers, but people say that there's a there's a toxin or there's something hazardous and within a few meters of whatever that poisonous plant is. There's an antidote. Um, mm -hmm. So if there's um, you know a health problem, there's always this this solution, a natural solution for it. Um, so anyways, uh, I would add eucalyptus to any, anything just to help people feel like they can be well again. The spiritual power. Um, so when you smell eucalyptus during meditation, it actually helps you open up more and allow yourself to uh, take in more oxygen. So as you breathe slowly and deeply, um, allow yourself to um, receive more oxygen. So just put that eucalyptus into your diffuser as you meditate, because meditation is a way that uh, you concentrate your um, thinking power and your creative power so that um, you know you change your um, reality, okay? So, you know, I think uh, Louise Hayes says, start with five minutes and then you can go up to 15, 20 minutes. But that's one of the most important things you do every day. Yeah? Yeah, because if you can work on that foundation, everything else will, will um, be manifested the way you created it in your mind. So that's the spiritual power. And um, I want to say one last thing before we end tonight. Um, about the placebo effect. How many times have you heard people say, well, nice for you, you know, you, <laughs> your essential oils are great, but it's a placebo effect. <laughs> so, you know, I kind of laugh when people say that, um, but it's um, actually them um, having a lack of faith. And it's a bit of a reflection of their fear because everything that we have it comes from a spiritual uh, state. It starts with a spiritual conception first before it becomes a physical reality. Um, and so there's a lot of evidence in the, in the fact that um, essential oils uh, do what it does, but also, um, you know, it uh, really... If you think about it, everything that we have physically is what we've created in our minds too. So people can trust that and have a look at that. Um, they'll see. But don't feel like you have to convince people that essential oils work. Let the oils work, uh, you know, and do the work. So I would suggest people give, you know, friends eucalyptus oil. You know, they say, oh, Jade, so-and-so is still sick, so-and-so tried the oils, but it doesn't work. And I think, you know what, I had a talk to her and I think she really likes to be sick. <laughs> it sounds weird, but you know, share with her eucalyptus oil. But you know, and they say, well, but that's not her problem. Her health problem is this and this and this. And I said, yeah, but eucalyptus oil. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Do you guys have any um, experiences with people that are like that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <He> just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they own it. They own that thing. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> I won't claim it over me at yeah. all. You know, I do what I can yeah. and stuff. And, you know, I kind of, you know, interject in the conversation. Well, why don't you try something to get better? You want, you know, you want to get better. And I sad to say, I even sometimes work with people that they got things going on. They're constantly going to the doctor. Like they're worried all the time about stuff. And then when you tell them or share with them, you know, about oil sometimes, unfortunately, they look at you like you got seven heads, like, what is that going to do for me? 
well, what is everything else doing for you? You still run into the doctor, you know? So I'm just, I just look at it this way. We are all blessed and privileged that this knowledge was given to us and revealed to us. And I'm still working on myself you know, getting through and I will share as long as people are open and acceptable, but it's just sometimes sad to see that people will own their disease and just, you know, keep running to the doctor and won't try anything to feel better. And they, you know, really are in pain and, you know, they're suffering and it's just like they're holding on to it and agonizing and you want to help them because, you know, you feel bad for them, but they're just not open or ready to it. You know? Yeah, and uh, that's what I say. Don't feel responsible. You've done your best. Okay. Share eucalyptus and say, you can be well. (laughs) When Mm -hmm. you're ready to be well, come and see me. (laughs) (laughs) Yep. Yeah, Yeah. that's right. Well, thank you, everyone. Um, That's all I have to say about eucalyptus. (laughs) Anybody have anything else that they want to add to the eucalyptus discussion? Well, I, um, I don't have eucalyptus yet, but it is in my order, which I will be ordering tonight. <laughs> it's going to be in my order. I have to get that one. That one was actually on my mind a while ago because uh, it helps with the airway, you know, the clearing of the airway, people coughing and this allergy season and all these things, you know, coming up. So I was like, I think I need to have that. So it's good. I'm, I'm glad this class was very informative. And I will walk around telling people I know, use look eucalyptus. <laughs> Get rid of that addiction to your disease or whatever you call it. <laughs> and healthy again. Yeah. I think my sister and I, we um, we used eucalyptus for the first two years when we got into doTERRA because it was so beautiful. And mm-hmm. our bodies were asking for it, saying, you guys have to really imagine that life is different without these mm-hmm. eucalyptus. And yeah. it's so liberating. Really, really mm-hmm. is, guys. It's it's pretty strong, isn't it? It's very strong. It's like stronger than peppermint. No, it's probably the same. Um, mm-hmm. Just to me, at least. Uh, if you have the breathe oil for the, mm-hmm. oil, the easy air, it's um, it's in there, and it's really nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll have to see when I get it. <laughs> yeah. Our, our next topic is um, maintaining a healthy weight. Um, so we're gonna oh, go yeah. Through, I need uh, that one. <laughs> I'm owning that. I need that one. 